Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. AuthNBA is back with another video and today I am holding in my hands the legendary V Valley Authentic Phoenix Suns City Edition jersey from two seasons. Yes, they had this jersey for two seasons and first they introduced this jersey in the 2020-2021 season. And the next season, when NBA had the 75th anniversary season, only a couple of teams held their hands to the same City Edition jerseys. And that was once again this one, because the Phoenix Suns knew that there is no better jersey at that time as the Valley. So why change something that has kept them going, the fan base going, and this really was the most popular, most valuable jersey of those two years and all the next years after that they first played in these jerseys when the phoenix suns went to the nba finals but lost to the milwaukee bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo. bucks were champions for the second time in their history but the phoenix suns lost in the finals and they played in these jerseys this is a very special jersey and you already remember maybe you remember that way back on my channel i already reviewed this jersey but today i want to talk about the comparison from two similar jerseys. One is Nike Retail and one the Team Store custom one. So first time in my life, I have to admit that the Team Store version of the Valley jerseys are better than the Nike Retail ones. And I will tell you why and show some example pictures. And of course, I will put the link on my original video where I had the Nike Retail one. So you can click on this video and check and compare that for yourself. But still, I will put some pictures for comparison right in this video. And the main thing is that they always messed up for the Devin Booker jersey and the number one. And the Nike Retail jersey had the number one stitched in the middle up there. But normally, it should be more to the right side, as you can see right now. Actually, even lower than this one has. The team store made a better job, but still they messed up. So this number one should go even a little bit lower to the right side. So that's the difference. And I'll put some game pictures for you to see as well. And on the back side, we can see, and I always talked about this in many of my videos, that the Nike retail jerseys are so much special because they have the name arc very wide they have more gap between the letters and the arc was always always way rounder actually i have to take my words back because if you compare to the game jerseys game used jerseys they never have this wide arc as we thought that is correct from the adidas times reebok times old nike times current generation nike jerseys have the arc way smaller of course these letters are too close to each other but arc wise i have to say this is how the jersey is more closer to the game worn jerseys as it is for the number one on the front of the jersey so i'll put some pictures once again so you can see the difference and in my hands this is a very rare team store team custom jersey that has the number one almost perfectly positioned because i saw many team store custom jerseys that the number one is so low that it's even lower than the game worn jerseys like around here and i'll find this picture and put it in the video so you can see what i'm talking about So, of course, I'll put it on myself so you can see how it looks. So, this is how the jersey looks on me. And this is a Wapernet material jersey. So, when we talk about the materials, it's not the, actually the material. Wapernet or dry fit, that's the technology that they are making these jerseys. And actually, this is so much different material. And I will show you in more closer details that this has three parts. So, upper part and lower parts are one type of material. And the middle part, the valley, and you can see here around these beautiful, colorful 2D squares. This is whole different material. So this jersey has the PayPal sponsorship patch. Even the Nike retail ones came with PayPal sponsorship patch as well. Of course, the Phoenix Suns Team Store jerseys were no exception as well. So this is a beautiful, beautiful jersey. 
the material is so much different than any other Vaporknit or DryFit advanced jerseys and Aeroswift for that matter as well. This is the side look on the jersey. It has no side panels, but this part stretches a little bit wider, this colorful part. So this is how the jersey looks from the back side. And once again, the name mark is way wider for the retail ones, but this one is actually way closer to the game-worn jersey look. Of course, the Phoenix Suns doesn't have any championships, so therefore there is no championship patch stitched on. They could have the championship in 2020, 2021, but as I said, the Milwaukee Bucks were victorious. So if the Phoenix Suns could win the championship that year, then the repeated design for the next season, the 75th anniversary, would get the championship patch stitched on the back as well. But that never happened. So two seasons in a row, they have the same City Edition jersey. But now let's look in more close-ups. So I can show you how the jersey looks inside out and the differences between all these materials so you can see how much different is this jersey. So here is the beautiful valley jersey from the front side. Unfortunately I don't have the Nike retail one on hand anymore but the picture should show you the difference. So for the jog tag, you have the rubberized letters Phoenix Suns on top of the jog tag. At that time, they didn't have the City Edition tab underneath the jog tag. It says just authentic, size 52 and plus two inches extra length. Then you can see the stitched number one. You can see the team store stitching a little bit of glue out there. That's usually never the case for the retail ones, but at least it has this gap little bit more. Normally it should have this gap a little bit bigger, so the number one is almost around here, but still the stitching is very good and the position is way way better. Then you have the middle part of the jersey and man how I like these purple colors. So this is purple not dark blue and you have these all these gradient 2D square pixels all around to the black to the purple light purple and then of course you have the double stitched v and valley letters you can see how much detail there is for the valley then you have the paypal sponsorship patch and that's not a defect. They always, even the game used jerseys, have the PayPal stitched over the middle part. So that's not an error. That's how they always did. Same for the Nike retail ones. The PayPal was always a little bit over the line for the split part. And the single stitched swoosh logo. So here you can see the light purple, but it's actually dark, dark purple neck trim. And of course the armpits. You can see that this Gradient, these gradient colors in this middle part stretches even to the sides and almost on the back. I think a little bit on the back side as well. It's the same for both sides. You can see it stretches way more wider. You can see the stitching parts. And I will show you the inside out of the jersey so you can better understand. And here you can see the back of the jersey and you can see the gradient colorful sides stretching that wide to the back of the jersey. So really, really beautiful. So here is the bigger stitched number one. And here you can see the popping orange single stitched booker letters. Of course, the game used jersey has a wider gap between these letters, but arc wise, it's way more precise than the Nike retail rubberized heat pressed NBA logo and of course no championship patches for these sons. And finally here you can see the jersey inside out and you can see the differences between these parts. The upper and lower parts are identical but the middle part is a totally different one and they are all stitched together in one piece. So this is how the jersey looks from the inside out. Here you can see the border the number one is stitched over those parts, but the game used jerseys have it even lower stitched. So the number one goes almost like until here. So you can see the colors from the inside a little bit, and you can see the stitched valley letters. 
and the D is stitched or even embroidered actually. So here you can see the border for the materials, stitched Naki Sush and stitched Papal patch. And here you can see the jersey inside out from the back side and still the front colorful panel goes around to the back side. You can see the colors a little bit. The inside tag. So here are the sides. But you can see the whole back side is one big piece compared to the three parts from the front side. So it ends here. So this part is almost like a side panel stitched separately and this is one big black part for the back of the jersey so here you can see the purple single stitching for number one and the orange single stitching for the booker name letters you have the retail tags and the nike vapor knit so that's strange, they have the move to zero, so probably they made them the next season, the 75th anniversary season, because the Vaporknit ones had a bunch of more tags, so this is not the first batch, this is the latest batch run, so therefore these are the fresher, newer move to zero Nike tags. So guys, to sum up this video, you can never go wrong with any authentic D-Valley's Phoenix Suns jersey. So finally they dropped in price and value because they were always like around $750, $900 and even $1200 in price. Right now, finally the Valley jersey is dropped in value, but still they go around $700, $650, $600. I saw some listings around $480, so if you see that price be sure that probably they won't go even lower because there are not that many valley jerseys around and they still are very rare but this is the team store jersey comparison to the retail one i hope these pictures helped you out and you understand that usually the nike retail ones are the perfect ones the most high quality ones and the team store are way lower quality but this time the phoenix suns team store did a great job and actually they didn't usually do a good job because of the association white jerseys the statement jerseys they have this lower quality for stitching and materials but only for the valley you can be sure that you can get the team store custom valley jerseys so guys Thank you for watching this video. Once again, thank you for your support. Thank you for the good comments. If you like this video and if you love authentic NBA jerseys, be sure I have more than 130 or 150, I don't know, authentic jersey video reviews. So consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell icon so you never miss out on any future videos. And let's meet in the next episode of Authentic NBA.